Hi guys, I'm going to cover off two requests tonight with one video. I've got one from Othman Ack, sorry about pronunciation. Uh, he wants a boat that can drive on the ground, so I assume he means a boat with wheels so it can go over land at the same time. And the other request is from the Heinzification, who wants an easy mechanism so that a rubber band powered car will still have the band attached to the hook when it's wound down. So you don't have to keep reattaching it every time you want to run the car. So um, that's what we're going to do. For the chassis or hull or body I'm going to use this two pint milk bottle or milk carton, it's plastic. For the back wheels I'm going to use these spools that I've already taken out of one of these old VHS cassette tape cassettes. So that's already done. For the front wheels I'm going to use these wheels that I made for another project. They're just clear plastic that I've cut into a circle and put a couple of bottle tops on there hot glued. It's got a barbecue skewer as the axle. So they're just handy to use. Uh, the back axle I'll use one of my flower canes, which are just some sort of bamboo or something. I uh, need a couple of extra bottle tops, which I'll hot glue in place to help hold the wheels on. And that's a pen top, and I'm going to use that for this um, rubber band attachment uh, mechanism. That's just very quickly assembled to check that I've got the axle holes at the right height. I've actually drilled the holes and then I've used my soldering iron to open them up a little bit further so they fit just right. Right, the most important bit of this project I think is how I'm going to cut this pen top. Because I need to make it, I need to make some sort of a ratchet effect on the end so that you can wind it up and then it unwinds pushing the axle but when the rubber band's finished, it needs to go free so that the axle can carry on turning without the rubber band. I think the best thing is if I cut it and then do a close-up so you can see what I've done. Let's see if I can demonstrate what I've done. I don't know if that's going to focus. I've cut a sort of a, cut it at a, an angle or a slope, so that's going to sit over the axle. We'll have a small peg sticking in that little hole just there, so that the axle catches when we wind it backwards to wind up the rubber band, and then the rubber band pulls it forwards. But when the rubber band's finished, the axle will continue to rotate. So it'll go round like that, and it should actually push that bit of plastic out of the way and continue to spin on its own, freewheeling. And the rubber band actually attaches to that bit of the hook that was on the original pen top. The next thing I'm going to do is put little paddles between the two discs here so that when it's in the water it will push itself forwards like a paddle steamer. So I've got some plastic cut from a pop bottle so I'll cut that into little squares or oblongs, rectangles and hot glue them in there. All up together now Hopefully you can see on the back axle there, I've got a little wooden peg going through the back axle. That's just a 
toothpick or cocktail stick. That's so that the plastic pen top, the notch that I've caught out of it, engages into there so that we can now turn the axle backwards to wind up the rubber band. It doesn't matter if the rubber band slides off the um, plastic tube there onto the axle like that, that's still winding up fine. And then when I release the back wheels you'll see that the rubber band unwinds and then the plastic pen top slips off of that peg and the back axle continues to spin. There we go. And the rubber band is still held in place on the pen top there so you don't have to reattach it each time. So that looks like it'll work. The other thing that I've done is between the two discs of the cassette spools I've now put these little clear plastic squares all the way around, evenly spaced, to act as paddles so that it should pull itself through the water. It was easy enough to position them because these discs have already got lines equally spaced all the way around. There's nine of them. So we've got nine paddles on each side. So that should pull us through the water. Oh, the rubber band just goes through the body, through the hole on the front here, and I've just put a paper clip around it to hold it in place. So that's the front done. Test run time, see if it works as a car. So, engage the pen top in that peg, wind the rubber band up. Don't want to wind it too much because we will get wheel spin with these wheels on the smooth surface. There we go, that's the five metres of my kitchen, so it works as a car. works us about. So summary time, what have we got? We've got a plastic milk container, a two-point container. Front wheels are made from clear plastic that I cut discs from and put bottle tops on them for a different project and the front axle is a barbecue skewer. The back wheels are um, video cassette spools that are convenient because there's two discs on each side and I've put little plastic squares round the edge to act as paddles. Uh, the back axle is a, a flower cane and then inside we've got that pen top that I've cut with a notch on it so that it engages the, uh, that's actually a toothpick there, um, so it, what, you can wind it up and then it releases itself so that the back axle can continue to freewheel when the rubber band has finished. So I reckon that's job done.